Hello, agentpreneurs, and welcome to episode 85 of the Daily List Report. Really excited for today's show. We've got our very own Ashley Music. She's going to talk to you all about Canva. Many of you have asked us for better hands-on DIY. How do you use some of these tools and technologies to advance your business? And so she's going to give a great tutorial and overview on how to use Canva to create great social media graphics and do all kinds of amazing things. While you're here, if you're enjoying the show, please consider subscribing. Click the subscribe button, click the little bell to be notified so that you don't miss any episodes. We've had great thought leaders on, we've got product tutorials, industry leadership, all sorts of amazing stuff. Make sure you subscribe and you don't miss a single episode. So without further ado, here's Ashley talking all about Canva. Hi, agentpreneurs. My name's Ashley, and I'm a communications specialist here at List Reports. And today, I'm here to talk to you about graphic design made simple. Now, I promise you, I'm not a graphic designer. I have absolutely no training. Everything I know, I taught myself using this really cool tool called Canva. And you've probably heard of it. That's actually what website I'm on right now, canva.com. And as you can see, there's a ton of different templates and designs. So what I love about Canva is they have a template for everything from newsletters and posters and business cards to Instagram templates that you can use to post for both posts and stories or anything in between. There's so much that you can work with and you don't have to be an expert and you don't have to be someone with a designer's eye in order to use it. So I've already picked out a few templates. Let's just give it a try. All right, so this is just a traditional Instagram template. So I've just gone in, I've chosen Instagram post, and I found some templates that are real estate specific. So what I did is when I went to templates, I just typed in real estate social graphic. You can also just type in real estate. And all of these templates came up. They're already ready to go. They've got just sold, looking for a real estate agent, whatever you're looking to advertise for, they've got it. So I chose one that I liked the look of. I just really like how this photo ties in with the background color. Uh, it's not my photo, it's a stock photo. And obviously I'm not an agent, so I don't have any listing photos. However, you probably will. So when you do, you're gonna wanna go into this upload button and upload any of your images from your listing. And then all you have to do is drag and drop. So I'm gonna show you that with a stock photo. So let's say I just say, I need a home, uh, perfect. So let's say I'm gonna do the interior instead of the exterior. So I'm just gonna grab a photo, drag it over here and drop, and look at that. It's all done for me. There's no formatting required, nothing. Just drag and drop and it automatically replaces. Now say you wanted to crop it, like what if I, I don't know, I don't like the ceiling being too high, so I'm gonna just move it a little bit, double click, and great, it's all there, awesome. Now let's say you wanna brand it with your own colors. You can click on any element in the background, for example, this navy background piece. And when you click this box, this is gonna open the colors. You can choose any color from the color wheel. Um, it also has document colors, so these are the colors already there. If you pay for the premium version, you can save your brand colors. So for your brokerage or just any colors that you find yourself using a lot uh, for your branding, you can have them saved there. So for example, list reports, we have steel blue, love it, great pop of color, I'm gonna use that. However, you can also, when you have a photo on the template or whenever you drop a photo in, Canva actually pulls out all the colors from that photo and creates a new palette for you. So what I love to use this for is when you're creating um, a different image with some text and some background images or different illustration elements, then you can change the colors to all match that palette and it'll look really cohesive. So for example, if I want to change the color of this text, I'm going to go up to this little button with the color under it. I'm going to change it to the same dark color that's found in this photo. Now it's really subtle, but it's really going to make a difference. So let's see, let's say if I change it here and if I choose this gray, it just, again, it's not looking great with that blue, but you can use those colors to really create a palette that really looks good with the photo. So let's say I'm like, okay, I don't want my list reports blue. I'm going to go with this nice background. Like, look at that. That looks really nice because it ties into the color of the photo. So that's a nice tip to make your, your templates and your overall design look really cohesive, both with text and color and all the things without much effort. So then you can replace the text with whatever you want it to say, Ashley Realty. We're probably going to change it to a virtual open house because, you know, that's, that's how things are going recently. You can add your details, city, state. You could replace this. You can add a headshot. Whatever you want, you can all rearrange. What's really nice is it'll also group text together. So see like this, when I move these, they move together. 
which I love because it just shows that Canva's looking out for you so that if you go to move something and you mess up all the spacing, it's right there. If you ever move something on accident, you just hit Command Z. So if you're on a Mac computer, Command Z is your best friend. Definitely works for me. The other great thing Canva does is it has these um, alignment little guides, I guess you call them. So these little pink lines that are appearing shows me that those two boxes are lined up and centered. So that's gonna make it just look really nice because then they're lined up. You don't have to worry about if the spacing's off, anything like that. So that's really great. Another great thing that I love about Canva is they take this idea of animating social media and make it really easy. So again, this is another template that I selected. I replaced the text here and here with some more details about the listing itself. And what I love is that Canva automatically already had this Saturday kind of up there. So if I really wanted to say, okay, I'm gonna add some text, you can go over here, add some text, and I'll say virtual open house, um, if I can type correctly open house at 12 p.m. And it's gonna say Saturday, so again, now people know. And then when I go to adjust this, I wanna drag it up to the top. And okay, well that's way too big, so we're gonna make it smaller. There we go, let's say I just wanted it to look like that. And the great thing is, okay, that font doesn't match, right? If you wanna search the fonts, you can go here. And instead of just scrolling through and not knowing which fonts look good, if you know that you have a certain type of font in mind, Canva gives you these prompts. So you can say handwriting or corporate or display um, headings. So they'll have these that are pre-categorized for you so you can choose. So let's say, I like handwriting. Um, then you can scroll through here and say, okay, this one, I like this font. And okay, cool, that looks great to me. Virtual open house at 12 p.m. Saturday, awesome and that's very eye-catching. Now say, okay, that's too small. If I wanna move all of these elements, instead of moving them all individually and messing it up, Canva also lets you click and drag. So I can just click until all of the elements that I want to move are highlighted, and then I'm gonna drag them down, reposition them where I want, perfect. And then now I have room to make this bigger, put it in the center, whatever I wanna do with it, I now have room to. So again, what I love about Canva is this ease of being able to move stuff, uh, replace photos. Like if I don't like this kitchen photo, again, you probably would have photos of your listing. I don't, but I can search upgraded kitchen and then it'll come up with all these photo options for me to use. Oh, well, okay, it doesn't like the word upgrade. All right, so I can look up kitchen, a modern kitchen, and find a photo that I really like that can then go in here. And again, you would probably use a listing photo, but again, replacing the photo is really easy, looks beautiful and easy to do. So I'm gonna switch over to another tab and I'm gonna show you how to do Instagram stories because I know that can be intimidating, but here's a really great way of doing it. Okay, so with Instagram stories, it can be very intimidating to go live on Instagram or to do anything like that. But with Canva, what you can do is you can take a pre-recorded video. For example, I have one of Randy here from one of the other episodes from this week. Today is all Perfect. about free lead capture tools. Which, you know, if you haven't seen that episode, go check it out. Um, but what I've done here is I've just taken this video and uploaded it, and then I fitted it into a Instagram story template. Now I've replaced the title and I've added some subtitles here so you know it's the daily list report, what episode it is, who's the guest. And then what's really fun about Canva too is again, those animated elements. Now Canva calls them stickers. So if I type in stickers here, it's actually gonna bring up all the animated things and it has arrow stickers, word stickers, whatever you need. So for example, if I want um, for the swipe up at the bottom, and I wanna really highlight that and show people, oh my gosh, swipe up, because then you're gonna get more information about my video or a listing or whatever you have there. You can scroll through and see how many options there are to do this. So let's say I really like this one. Um, then you can resize it, it's pretty easy, it looks really great. You can just reposition it where you want, and that shows people exactly where to click or where to swipe. So I'm gonna scroll down, but this is what I ended up choosing here. So I found a different arrow. I found this little heart button that says, you know, encourages people to like the post or the story. And then this eye-catching new to show, oh, it's a new video, new content, and get people to click in. So that's a really fun way. The, the trick about these is when you go to download them, right, you don't want to download them as a PNG. And Canva will automatically do that for you. In this one, because there's a video element in here, I want to download it as a video. I'm gonna select my final page, so I just select page two, page one is a draft. Done, 
download, and then it'll automatically prepare your design and be ready to go. Now I'm going to cancel this because I don't need it, but that's how you do that. Now, the other great thing about Canva, so that was we covered the basic Instagram post, the animated Instagram post, and the Instagram story with some of those animated stickers. All of that is perfect for social media. So if you want to make your own content, um, come up with new facts, and then type them in and make them look pretty, it doesn't take a lot to make it really stand out when you're scrolling on your Instagram feed. So again, very easy to do. But Canva also has a ton of other templates that can be used for things beyond even just traditional social media posting. So for example, they have these new video templates. So this is actually a template that I find really cool. And what this is, is it's a basic video template. So all of these are stock from Canva. I don't have any original video content that I've created here, but you might. You might have some drone footage. You might have shots of um, the different rooms in your, in your listing that you wanna showcase. This is the place to do it. This is what's really cool. So you can take either a stock video or your own video and then use one of these templates to overlay your branding and any messaging you want on top of it. So for example, in this first one, I chose this kind of beach stock video because let's say you have a listing in Newport Beach and Randy Realty, he, is, he has a listing, Newport Beach, living your best life. This is a great thing to include when you're posting on social media so that people are like, wow, that's stunning. I, what is that? Is that a listing? Is that a place to live? I wanna look there. So you can capture people's attention and then you can post a video like this that maybe has an address on it of the listing that you have. And you, you know, capture people's attention, say view now, ooh, I wanna go look at that. And this video is just a nice, different pan, you know, obviously we can sense a theme. I like the beach. It draws me in. I would love to live there. So this would catch my attention if I was scrolling through Instagram or Facebook, looking at a nice video with some really clean branding on it. I'd be like, hmm, I wonder what that is. I'm going to check it out. Again, more beach. I love the beach. But what's really cool is you can also choose other templates and use it to create original content. So let's say you like this typing video, right? And instead, it originally, I think it said something about how to beat common work challenges, but instead you can replace this text with how to find your dream home or um, need help selling your home? I can help, you know, something like that. So it's your own messaging, message me at Allison Realty or add your logo, change the color. Again, we went all over, over all of that. But what's cool about this is it's really eye-catching when you're scrolling through Facebook and Instagram, videos stand out more than anything, right? Motion just attracts the eye. And I think when you have clients who are looking at this, they're gonna be really impressed. And when you have a, a mixture of content, especially if you have some still Instagram content and then you have a few videos interspersed, that's gonna be really impressive to clients because they're gonna see that you really put a lot of time and effort Although really with Canva, you don't have to. Uh, you're, you put in a lot of time and effort into cultivating your feed and really showing a well-rounded, you know, representation of the properties and of your social media. Perfect, okay, so something like this. And look, they already have a whole slideshow that you can use. We're gonna replace the current page because I didn't care about that one. And here's this nice video that they have. It's a stock video. But imagine your, your drone video just dropped right in here. Again, just an easy drag and drop to replace and you've got this stunning visual, and again, you may not love this gray color, but then change it to your brand color, and boom, put your your brokerage name on there, put your name, message me, and you've just got a stunning piece that took you maybe five minutes to create social content right there. So that's what I've got for you today. Again, don't, please don't hesitate to go ahead and comment if you have any questions. We're happy to reach out and talk to you about this, but also just go ahead on Canva and poke around. It's really user-friendly. It's really built to help non-designers learn how to design. So I promise you, if you go on and you spend five minutes, you'll be able to create something that you'll be happy with. Of course, you get better with practice, but five minutes can create something that's really eye-catching, really engaging, and I promise you will really impress your social media following. So I really hope that helps. Graphic design made easy. Again, if you have any questions, go ahead, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And Randy, I'm gonna send it on back to you. Thanks for having me. I hope you enjoyed today's show with Ashley. Ashley, thank you so much for doing this for all of our agentpreneurs out there. You know, here's the thing, right? 
Technology can be intimidating, but it is a great enabler. It is so empowering to be able to figure out how to use some of these great tools, which frankly are easier than ever to use. You used to have to know how to use Photoshop, maybe take classes, understand layers and masking and all kinds of crazy stuff. And tools like Canva and others have made this easy. If you didn't check out our gimbal uh, video, for example, Great way to make your video quality uh, better than ever. If you didn't watch our episode on the Double Take app and how to record from multiple cameras, consider watching those now. There's so many amazing technologies out there that are easier to use than ever. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Until tomorrow, be safe, be healthy, be happy, and we'll see you soon.